Hi, welcome to this tutorial on translating graphs using FX notation. Now, if you're not sure about FX notation, you should find a link to the side of this video if you're on my website at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look then at a particular graph, y equals f of x. Now, I've chosen the graph y equals x squared. This is going to be my f of x graph throughout this example. So we'll just put this down here that y equals f of x, where f of x is x squared. But what I'm about to say could apply equally to any particular graph. Now, we're going to look at translations. And I'll show you what a translation is in a minute. Okay, but you could learn these rules, but if you're unsure why these rules work, then there's another video, you'll see again links to this uh, if you're on my site on this page, of why these particular transformations work. But at the moment, let's just accept that they work and we'll work with them. Now, if we were to do, for instance, y equals f of let's say x minus 1, then for this particular equation, x squared, we replace the x with x minus 1. So that's going to give us x minus 1 all squared. And according to this rule, you can see that the a is 1 in this example. And that means it's going to translate the graph one unit to the right. So what does that mean? Well. If we take the graph, the original graph of x squared, we slide it to the right one unit. So it becomes like this. All right. So this is the graph then of y equals, in this case, x minus 1 all squared. Now let's have a look at another graph. Let's say we do y equals f of x plus 2. And this is going to be where we replace any x in f of x with x plus 2. So we now have x plus 2 all squared. And according to this rule, you can see that the a is the 2. The graph is translated, shifted if you like, two units in this example to the left. So if we take that graph then, we take our original graph and we slide it two units to the left, parallel to the x-axis. One unit, two units. And we get a graph like this. So let's just label that one y equals x plus 2 all squared. Okay, well that's left and right translations. You've got to be very careful with this, as I say. You can see that if you put a minus 1 in here, it translates it then one unit to the right, not to the left, okay? That's a common mistake. It seems to do the opposite, if you like, of what the A value seems to suggest. Okay, let's move on to this particular example. Now, we'll go back then to our original equation, y equals f of x, which in this case is f of x equals x squared. And I'm going to do y equals f of x minus 3. So what is this? Well, f of x is x squared, so this is going to be x squared minus 3. And according to this rule, you can see the a is now the 3. So it translates it 3 units downwards. So again if we take the graph, we can take the graph of f of x equals x squared and pull it down 3 units. 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units. And so we're going to get something looking like this. So we'll just write that in and that is the graph then of y equals x squared minus 3. And lastly, if we take y equals, say, f of x plus 1, 
What's this going to give us as an equation? f of x is x squared in this case, and then we're adding the 1 on the end. And according to this rule, a you can see is 1, and because we've got the plus sign in here, it translates it one unit upwards. So if we take the curve again, slide it upwards one unit, and we get our blue curve looking something like that. So all I need to do is just write that in then as y equals x squared plus 1. Right, so hopefully that gives you an idea now of how to apply this particular transformation. It's a translation, okay, when you get graphs. But as I say, if you want to know why this works, then I've got another video which you'll see a link to if you're on the page on my website, okay?